uh, looking at her photographs and so on, do you monitor this regularly? Like, is it a full time thing with you? I or I don't think. So. How often? Of course, how okay. much time do you do well? Food? Curating and preparing for exhibits and exhibits and 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 cutting film clips and creating reels and uh, uh, all of that and scanning and digitizing all of these extraordinary prints which today are worth more than an Hermes bag or you know piece of antique furniture it, it, take, it has taken a long time and is almost done but. Um, certainly protecting her IP and and monitoring, you know, through the help of search engines and Google alerts and things like this, what is happening in the world and how her name is being mentioned and or utilized. It gives us the ability to pursue our legal rights, uh, which are complicated because they're different in every part of the world, you know, to, to ensure that that her name and her image and likeness is not misused and or somehow uh, misattributed. In short, you are one son who is so vigilant about it. I I, I know it's a full time job. It's a full time job. I started job. my that's career. What I wanted to. Yeah, that's what I wanted <laughs> to say. It's a full time job. It's a full time job. I started my career in in production, and I've had fifteen years of uh, of nice, solid work in the entertainment industry. And then when she became ill and ultimately passed away, I had to make a decision on my feet whether I should continue to make a couple of bad action films, maybe hopefully because the chances of me achieving another Audrey Hepburn, you know, were, were you... type of success was 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 improbable, or whether I should take this valuable legacy, this asset that she left, and run with it and make sure that it's protected and well organized. And, and and that's what I did. And I, I've been doing okay. it for the past 30 years. You are, are you surprised? You're not surprised that the Gen Cs and the millennials, today's generations, are familiar with her, given the amount of visual treasure that she has left. Behind. I'm always. I think we are a family, a humble family. We're not in a Hollywood frame of mind. We don't take anything for granted. We're extremely thankful, as I am thankful for someone like you who's helping us to continue her story. But I'm always surprised to the, the extent uh, uh, of which she, she still means so much without really having done anything apart from continuing her, you know, uh, charitable and humanitarian dreams and, uh, and making sure that nothing really bad, that first do no harm kind of an approach, but uh, I'm always surprised to what an extent. Why she? Because she's unique, because she means something, because in our collective uh, uh, perception, she uh, represents something that is, doesn't come by that often, I guess.